hey guys, it's me, Kenny. I'm just gonna do another review for a comic book event. It's gonna be about Dark Web. It's an event featuring Spider-Man, X-Men, and Venom. And I gotta say, this is a bland, weird, mediocre event from Marvel. Now, people are thinking, what what makes me say that? Well, first off, the reviews here are pretty much mi mixed. But, you know, say that this review, the critics don't matter. So what is my problem with this event? Well, my problem with this event is that it ruins a lot of characters. I'm going to try to make it brief. I'm also going to try to spoil. So, anyway, as you can see, uh, I'm trying to... Anyway, my biggest problem is that Ben Riley gets ruined. He went from this guy who wanted to, who lost his memories or wants to get them back. And suddenly, at the flip of the switch, he turns and it's just really, it's just really weird. And that he wants to destroy New York. And like, the art is kind of bad. And there's a lot of characters that get ruined. For example, um, sorry, Venom, right? Madeline Pryor, um, I'll just kind of scroll down a bit to the point. Uh, it's going to be trying to kind of quick. Like, like, for example, Madeline Pryor tells um, Hallow Eve, or another villain, that she wants to, she's trying to change Venom's mind. And he suddenly turns into this caricature of himself. And it's just really weird. Like, like you can just see the dialogue is also just wacky. It's just not that good. It's And, like, I'll kind of breeze through a bit. But, basically, like, even Spider-Man notes that he just became, becomes dumber. And it's just really weird. And, and as, as, as you go along, like, Ben Riley. The dialogue, like I said, the tone is inconsistent. It's like making Thor 4 a comedy when it's supposed to be about gods killing gods. Like, it's just a dialogue that's just super weird. And finally, I just want to mention, I just absolutely find it hilarious that Spider-Man, right? He says that he needs to take care of Ben Riley by himself. The funny thing is that he loses so much in this event and it's, it's just super weird let me show you for example he can defeat venom right king chasm pretty easily and this is the same venom that defeated Noel. but then suddenly he loses to ben riley and i'm gonna like if you look at the dial like i'll show you right here like i said venom gets treated poorly It's just, like I said, here's the example here. And I'm going to try to go quickly, like I said. Spider-Man promised he needs to defeat Chasm by himself. But then, in, but then, like, as you read on, you notice that Spider-Man really gets left behind. And he gets kind of gets treated unfairly. Just really sucks as a Spider-Man fan. Like... This is Spider-Man right here. This is Rec Wrap, some monster who has the powers of Spider-Man. And the dialogue is also weird. Like, who says that? Madeline Pryor be becomes um, the who gains her power. Uh, like, and then, like you said, I'm just kind of scrolling down a bit. Like if you notice here, this not this isn't Spider-Man. It's a wreck rap. It's someone else. And the event ends with um, how do I say this? With Ben Riley being caught in prison. So all I all I can just say is that I was pretty disappointed in this event. This event was supposed to you know shake. It wasn't even supposed to shake up the status quo. I just wanted a good, entertaining, fun event that just shows how cool Spider-Man, X-Men, and Venom are. I don't mind them losing, but why? But at least have a satisfying payoff. Like Spider-Man doesn't even deal the final blow. And this event, man, it has bland action, bland art, and bland fight scenes. I'm giving this a four out of ten. Sorry, guys. See ya.